In this video, I'm going to be going over all the different HostGator payment methods that are accepted, along with the HostGator payment methods that aren't accepted, so you have a clear understanding of how to pay for HostGator web hosting. By the end of this video, you will know all the different ways that can be used to pay for HostGator, all the payment methods that aren't accepted, as well as how to make your HostGator payment, whether your purchase is for a new HostGator account or an existing account. I'll be providing you with an exclusive HostGator promo code that HostGator has provided me with so you can save some money on your HostGator hosting purchase, plus get a free domain name on annual plans or domain discount on non-annual plans. You will get a greater discount than you see here. To take advantage of the HostGator discount, just click the link in the description below and I've included the promo code to enter at checkout with the link. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning I receive a commission from HostGator at no extra cost to you. Plus, you'll get an awesome HostGator discount. Let's get started with the HostGator payment methods tutorial video. So what payment methods are accepted by HostGator? HostGator accepts payments via credit cards, debit cards, as long as the debit card is your bank card, or you have access to the debit card, it can have your current address and name with it. PayPal, checks, Checks must be in US dollars and be drawn from a US bank account. Money orders. Money order must be in US dollars and be drawn from a US bank account. And bank wires. HostGator does accept regional payment methods that you can pay via PayPal. Regional payment methods in your country can vary with what is offered via PayPal, so this depends on those factors. HostGator also accepts Maestro switch payments. Something I want to note is different banks implement Maestro differently, so this may or may not work. PayPal also accepts payments via Maestro, but does it in all countries, so this can vary. When it comes to prepaid debit cards and gift cards, if you can associate your personal name and address with the card, more than likely it'll work. Some prepaid debit cards and gift cards will let you create an online account with your information. If so, this payment method should work but can vary. Payment methods that aren't currently accepted by HostGator are Bitcoin payments. Prepaid debit cards or gift cards can vary as mentioned earlier as they work best typically if you can associate your name and address with the card. Now let me show you how to pay for HostGator if you are signing up for a new account. I'll then be going over how to make a payment if you already have an account. I'll also cover paying with a check money order, or bank wire. Towards the end of the HostGator checkout process under the enter your billing info section, you want to input your information as well as a credit card or a debit card. If you want to make a payment via PayPal, select the PayPal option. Once you click the checkout now button at the bottom of the page, you'll be directed to PayPal where you can log in and complete your HostGator payment. If you're going to be paying via check, money order, or bank wire, you want to select PayPal. Click the checkout button at the bottom of the page. The payment has to be in US dollars and come from a US bank. If paying via check or money order, HostGator has two different mailing addresses. One for regular mail and one for overnight express payments. Your payment won't be applied to your account until the payment has been received. You want to make the checkout to HostGator.com and provide a note enclosed with your primary email address for the account your primary domain name for the account, or client ID. Something to note is with check or money order payments, a refund isn't given. You are instead given a hosting account to be used at HostGator if you cancel within the money back guarantee period. If paying via bank wire, you must choose one year of hosting or spend a minimum of $100. You wanna get in touch with the HostGator billing department via phone or live chat to get the details for the bank wire. You want to make sure you include your domain name in the wire transfer notes so HostGator can look up and apply your bank wire faster. Once the payment has been sent, you'll want to reach out to HostGator again via phone or live chat and give them the date payment was sent, originating bank account payment was sent from, name of the account payment was sent from, and the domain name. Bank wire payments can take a few days to clear. The payment will be applied as soon as possible Something to note is bank wire payments are non-refundable. The refund will go back to a HostGator hosting credit as long as you ask for a refund within the money back guarantee time. The easiest way to make a payment for HostGator web hosting is via a credit or debit card or PayPal. Once you have an account with HostGator to renew your payment, 
log in to the HostGator dashboard. Click the Billing tab in the left side menu. Click the Make Payment link. Select what you want to make a payment for. Click the Choose Payment Method button. Scroll down to the Select Payment Method section. You can then choose the card you have on file. Use a new credit or debit card, or choose to pay using PayPal. You'll then just input your new information and click the Make Payment button to complete paying for HostGator on your existing HostGator account. That's all there is to it. That is my Which HostGator Payment Methods Are Accepted tutorial video, as well as how to make a payment via HostGator web hosting. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not, as the comments help improve our tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more HostGator web hosting tutorial videos.